I'm Michael Colley and I'm talking to you from Bracknell. This is where for 18 months the Joint Services Command and Staff College, or JSCSC for short, which is an entirely new creation, has educated the military practitioners of the future. The former four staff colleges at Greenwich, Camberley and Bracknell having closed. And this is what's known here as the city, a temporary but entirely functional arrangement in which more than 900 people now work. What goes on here is, above all, operational business, and exercises feature very prominently. One of the main exercises is the theatre war game, which is the largest of its kind in Europe. So let's join that exercise for a moment to get a feel for the place. This is as real as it gets. Two forces are at war. The students are in command. Every shot fired or submarine sunk is in their hands, and the media are keeping the world informed. This exercise is the largest of its kind to take place in this country. It involves Army, Navy and RAF officers from the UK and overseas. We recognise nowadays that any operation we're going to conduct will be in done in conjunction with either allies or in a coalition, and therefore by bringing officers in from overseas, we are exactly replicating the conditions these officers are going to find when they go out into the field. The battle lines are drawn on a distorted map of Europe. Countries have been moved and names are changed. The 360 students are divided into two rival alliances, and the fighting is simulated on computer. I think it's very realistic. I've recently been involved with planning within a carrier and just come back from Invincible in September. And for the maritime operation, it's very convincing. And I have seen now how the land uh, war is fought. And it, and it seems to be very true to life. This is the first time that we've worked alongside our sister services. It's the way that we're going to go and fight, so really it's the way we ought to go and train. The Strategic Defence Review focused on the importance of joint activities for the Army, Navy and Air Force to create sleeker, more responsive armed forces. The Staff College is leading the way in turning this review into reality. And that kind of exercise happens here regularly. It's what the JSCSC is all about. But in August next year, the JSCSC will move lock, stock and barrel to a new purpose-built staff college at Watchfield between Oxford and Swindon and within the perimeters of the existing facilities at Shrivenham. And this is the site plan. The basic idea is an exceptionally modern teaching facility on the left here for junior, advanced and higher levels of command and staff activity. A central facility, housing amongst other things, the largest defence library in Europe. And single living accommodation here on the right. All are linked with a central street, as it's called, giving access to all three levels and running through the forum here, where all paths meet. This computer-generated image shows how it will all look on the ground. Here are the existing buildings of the Royal Military College of Science, the headquarters and the halls of residence. And here is the new JSCSC. And you can see the shape and scale, and indeed how the Cotswold stone colour will look. Looks good, doesn't it? But that's all theory. What does it really look like right now? This view of the construction from about a mile away gives a good feel for the scale of the new building. You can observe its breadth in relation to the halls of residence of the Royal Military College of Science behind it. Let's draw closer to see how the work is getting on. On the left, the instructional wings with their prominent diamond-shaped central cores are taking shape. The central facility is prominent in the middle and the bow-shaped design of the dining hall and the main lecture theatre is clearly evident at the bottom of the picture. Let's just go into that main lecture theatre now. It'll accommodate an audience of 450 people and you can see the design in this shot. We've now emerged from the building on the northern side of the complex and in the foreground is the road leading to the undercroft from which the entire staff college will be serviced. As we move round, the circular shape of the forum is very clear, and the area that is currently roofed is where the largest defence library in Europe, on two floors, will be housed. Let's now fly slowly round the entire building to gauge progress. 
Before you now, projecting from the building, are the various office areas which will house the directing staff and other people who serve the main part of the college. As we go round the western end of the complex, the nature of the street, which runs from end to end of the building, becomes clear. You can judge its considerable height to service all three levels of the building. The open glass roof arrangement and the slight curve, which is a feature of it. Coming into view now are the three instructional wings for junior, advanced and higher command and staff training levels. The diamond-shaped cores contain the syndicate rooms and nearest us the rectangular blocks house the lecture rooms which each wing will have. We've already been into the ground floor of the central core. The higher level, currently open to the elements, will be the main dining room. As we now pass the single living accommodation, it's clear that this is virtually complete and some of the rooms have actually been fitted out. A total of 483 people will be housed in these blocks. At the eastern end of the building, we get another very good view of the length of the street, 320 metres of it, and can observe how it'll play such a prominent part in bringing the whole college together. In the foreground, not particularly well developed at this stage, is the sports complex, consisting of the squash courts and fitness centre. Remaining on the theme of sport, much of the preliminary work on the sports fields is now complete, as the green area below us now reveals. Sports facilities will include an all-weather cricket pitch, six all-weather tennis courts, an all-weather hockey pitch, a county-class cricket pitch and a rugby and football pitch. Let's now fly across the two quarters areas that we are developing. This first one, as you'll see, is virtually finished. The houses are up and some of the landscaping has been done. There is a total of 290 quarters and you can see even from this range that there is considerable variety in the way we've laid them out and small variations in design will also ensure that no more than three will actually be the same. As we cross from one quarter area to another you'll notice the roundabouts being built on the road round Shrivenham to facilitate access to the JSCSC. We're now over the second quarters area, which is less developed, but it will be complete and landscaped by the time families move in next summer. Now let's zoom to a completed part of the quarters area, where you can see eight houses exactly as they'll be when the occupants take them over next July. As we fly away from the site, you can look back over the Oxfordshire countryside towards the Ridgeway and the Uffingham White Horse, Views which will be afforded to many parts of the new JSCSC and the quarters area. So the message from here at Bracknell is that work across the Watchfield site is going to schedule. And the most modern purpose-built staff college in the world is on target to open in August 2000.